This e-commerce business generates over $24 million per month selling these electric shavers. In today's video, I'm doing a breakdown on Manscaped, an e-commerce business that has completely revolutionized the men's grooming category with a combination of their clever product innovation, their bold marketing strategies, and a strong direct-to-consumer model. I'm going to do a full breakdown covering their flagship product to their organic marketing, their paid search marketing, paid social marketing, their website, the offers they run, and more. By the end of this video, you'll have a full understanding of how Manscaped became the dominant force in the men's grooming category. With that said, let's get right into it. Manscaped was founded back in 2016 by Paul Tran. Back then, there was no brand specifically catering to below-the-waist care for men. And so, inspired by women's grooming products that addressed every need, Paul set out to revolutionize male hygiene by creating Manscaped, a brand focused on delivering the right tools for men's sensitive areas. Through bold direct-to-consumer strategies, clever marketing and influencer partnerships, Manscaped has now grown into a billion dollar brand. And today, of course, we're doing a full breakdown on their marketing strategies and how they've experienced this explosive growth. First thing I want to cover is just a breakdown of their traffic. So as you can see, they're currently getting 2.4 million monthly visits on their website, which is crazy. So you can see that 80% of their total traffic is coming from YouTube. Now, this is super unique because you don't see many brands that have majority of their social traffic coming from YouTube. 15% is coming from Facebook and the rest is coming from other channels like WhatsApp, Reddit, Instagram, and a few others. Another thing to note is their monthly search volume. So you can see that since 2020 up until now, they've been consistently uptrending year over year. They are up 1% in overall search volume, but you can see that last month alone, they had 95,000 searches, which is also crazy. The first thing I want to cover is their products. They started off with this flagship product, which is a men's trimmer. They call it the lawnmower. I'm an actual customer of Manscaped, so I actually have it here with me. I can actually vouch and say that this is actually a pretty good product, right? It actually works. It's designed for precise and safe grooming in sensitive areas, and it definitely delivers on that. Now, I went ahead and not only purchased their shaver, but I purchased one of their bundles that comes with a ball aftershave lotion and also this ball deodorant. I was quickly upsold, right? It was a really good offer, which I'll talk about later in the video. Just like every single business, they expanded their product line down to deodorants, moisturizers, body washes. They sell these underwear and they also have other products as well. Obviously, in order to grow and become a billion dollar company, you have to, of course, have uh, really good products, right? There's no doubt about that. But what also makes Manscaped stand out compared to other brands is the approach that they have taken with their personal branding. You'll notice that they have unique names for all of their products, like the shaver. It's called the lawn mower. Their bundles, it's called the perfect package. This aftershave lotion, it's called the crop soother. Overall, like they have taken probably the best approach that I've ever seen when it comes to really honing in on the overall branding that you want to have across the board. The names of their products, their messaging on social media, their ads everywhere. Let's move on to their organic marketing. Manscaped overall has a strong social presence across all of their social media channels. However, I wanted to just share some insights that I picked up from each one. So obviously, as we saw, YouTube is one of their strongest social media channels that they're getting the most social traffic from. Now, looking at their YouTube channel, you can see that they have 52,000 subscribers and they've uploaded over 390 videos, right? If you look at their videos, they actually get pretty good organic views, right? Uh, now, obviously, this is a mixture of organic and paid ads. But I mean, two weeks ago, this video got 237,000 views. This video here two weeks before that got 173,000 views. And this video here one month ago had 1 million views. Now, obviously, again, that's a combination of ads as well, but still really good to see that they get these kind of views organically on YouTube. Overall, what really stands out about their social media strategy is that they blend humor with education, creating content that's both entertaining and informative. You'll notice that that's the same trend across all of their social media channels. Now, what also stands out about their YouTube channel is that they create content showing things like how to use their products, behind the scenes content showing like how their products are made, different collaboration videos and more. I think that this is a good example of how you can really leverage a YouTube channel to really build a deeper audience with potential customers, but also existing customers as well. Moving on to their Instagram, you can see that on their Instagram, they have 636,000 followers. One of the things that also stands out across all of their social media platforms is that they create content that's native to the platform. So for example, for 
TikTok, they create short form. For Instagram Reels, they create short form, but they also create static images for their feed as well. They do a pretty good job at that. What stands out about Instagram is that one of the things that they do is that they partner with very attractive women on Instagram. So obviously Instagram is known to you know be the place where men go on to look at women. And so of course, what better recommendation than to have for a man than from a recommendation from one of the hottest women that they see on Instagram. And so you'll often see that they find like really good looking women and majority of their followers are men. And so they partner with them to make a post about Manscaped recommending it for their male followers, which I thought was obviously um, genius, right? And this is something that they're constantly doing. For Instagram, those are pretty much the main insights. Now looking at their TikTok, the main thing that stands out about their TikTok is how they tend to create very native content for TikTok. Like they follow all the TikTok trends. They lean in on making like viral content that like really stands out specifically on TikTok. And so overall, their brand will continue to crush TikTok because they absolutely lean in on their bold marketing strategies. So they do a really good job by creating content that's very unique to the platform and that can definitely help them grow on TikTok specifically. So overall, those are some of the main takeaways from TikTok. Now, moving on to Facebook. This is not their biggest organic channel. As you can see here, they only have about 175,000 followers. However, what stands out about their Facebook is that they have a Facebook group as well that has 26,000 members. I went ahead and I joined the Facebook group and you'll notice that it's actually fairly active. You have people here that are sharing things like how they add added different products to their ongoing subscriptions. Here you can see that this in particular customer had an issue with one of their razors, right? From their shavers. And so they have overall a community that's fairly active with potential and also existing customers. You can see that Manscaped has part of their team engaging in this community. And I'm pretty confident that this plays a big role to the overall organic reach that they can get because having a community that people can be a part of when they buy from the brand or if they want to get more information on the brand plays a big role because people can come here and get direct insights from actual customers, which there's no better people that you can get insights from than like people that have actually tried the products. And so I thought that this was super unique and very well done. You know, having a community in our day and age is very underutilized by a lot of different businesses. And I think that this is something that more e-commerce businesses should lean into. I mean, there's a reason why a company of this size has taken the time to have a community on Facebook that's engaged and that they're investing time and energy and resources into. All in all, those are some of the main takeaways for their organic content. Moving on to their paid social. I took the time to review the paid social ads that they're running on Meta and also the paid social ads that they're running on YouTube. Obviously, they're getting a lot more paid social traffic from YouTube, so I'm going to spend a lot more time covering YouTube instead of Meta. But there are um, just a couple insights and takeaways that I took away. So one of the first things that I noticed is that if you go on their ads library, they obviously have a wide variety of ads that they're running. They're running static images, videos. They're also running a, a variety of different ads for their different products and more. The next thing I wanted to go over is that even with their paid ads, they take the approach of using bold angles and humorous hooks. So for example, if we just go and we pull up this video here very quickly, Check out the hook of the video. Guys, it's time to put your groin in good hands. Here are three reasons. The video starts off with, guys, it's time to put your groin in good hands. Here are three reasons why you should purchase the lawnmower, right? Great hook. If we look at this video here, I thought that this one was pretty clever, right? Watch me turn my shower into a barbershop in like two seconds. Before I got the lawnmower, Watch me turn my shower into a barbershop in two seconds. That was obviously pretty, pretty unique and pretty funny to be fair, right? And so um, one of the things that really stood out to me is again, the bold angles that they use as well as their humorous hooks. Like I said, they also use diverse creative formats. They have targeted messaging and personalization and they also use a mixture of educational content. You'll notice that halfway through their videos on a lot of them, they're gonna showcase how their products work and how they use them and their overall effects and the results of using their products. And so they're really take the time to hook people in and then obviously educate them on their products and show results that they actually do work. I thought that overall, those are some of the main kind of key takeaways that I got from their paid social ads on Meta. Obviously, they absolutely crush their ads overall, but for Meta specifically, those are some of the main takeaways. Moving on to their YouTube ads, Manscaped is actually known to be one of the brands that has really had some of the best YouTube ads out there, right? They partnered with this very well-known agency that only focuses on creating like high production YouTube ads. And if 
you go to their YouTube channel, you can come across some of these older YouTube ads. But when it comes to their YouTube ads, if you ever wanted to get more context, if you wanted to see the current ads they're running, you can go to the Google Ads Transparency Center. And here you can see all of the YouTube ads they're running. You can see that there's a combination of YouTube standard ads that are like full landscape placement. And then also they're using YouTube shorts ads, right? As you can see, I noticed that when it comes to their actual ad creatives, they use a mixture of humor driven storytelling. Since they have more time on these YouTube videos, they can actually take the time to, you know, share these funny stories and use also like these exaggerated scenarios to highlight the need for their products. They do a really good job with their product demonstrations. They obviously have different influencer and celebrity endorsements and collaborations that they put out. And they also have, like I mentioned, diverse creative formats, right? They're taking on short form content and long form content. And then every single video almost always ends with a strong call to action. So for the most part, the main key takeaways that I have from Manscaped's YouTube ads is that they excel in using humor, relatable storytelling, and product demonstrations while leveraging influencers and celebrities with strong calls to actions to drive conversions and engagement. And um, yeah, I think that if you guys ever wanted to get ideas for what kind of YouTube ads work well, you can check out their ads. I think that they are absolutely crushing when it comes to the types of ads that they use on YouTube and more. And as we saw, majority of their traffic is coming from YouTube. And so I think that a lot of e-commerce businesses should take the time to learn more about everything that they're doing from YouTube organic to also their YouTube ads. On that note, if you're an e-commerce business and you're looking to get help with growing your e-commerce business, whether it's with paid social ads or paid search marketing, down below this video in the description, there's actually a link where you can book in a call with me and my team. And on that call, we can get to know more about you and your business. And then from there, we can outline an action plan on how we can help. Moving on to their paid search efforts, right? I'm going to mainly focus on their Google ads. One of the first things that stands out is the fact that they're spending a minimum of $43,000 a month on ads. Now, the reason why I say a minimum is because when I've done comparisons with this tool, with other businesses that I work with, that I know their actual monthly ad spend, this tool almost always quotes a lower amount. So I would probably suggest that their ad spend on Google is easily like 2x of what they're currently showing here, right? But anyways, $43,000 a month is still a fairly significant number. And I wanted to break down some of the main insights that I picked up from reviewing their ads on Google. Looking at first their shopping ads. So I, I wanted to cover Google Shopping because for most e-commerce businesses, Google Shopping are the highest converting and most profitable types of Google ads that you can run. When you look at their Google Shopping ads, one of the things that really stands out to me is the images that they use on their products listings. So if you search up some of the main keywords that they're looking to target, things like pubic hair trimmer. Notice how their product listings automatically stand out compared to all of the other options on the market. And the reason why is because one, they're trying out a combination of different types of images, right? You'll notice that, for example, this image here has the product and then also the box next to it, right? And then also, if you notice the background, the top half is white and the bottom half is gold. This may not seem like a big deal, but sometimes these small little tweaks on the actual image that you use for your Google shopping listings makes the world of a difference from a performance standpoint. And so notice that they're doing testing with that, but then notice how this product here, they're trying out a full gold color background with just the products, right? And then if you continue to go through their products, you'll notice that they're just doing so much testing when it comes to their Google shopping images, right? Notice Notice how with this listing here, they're doing like this split format where the top left of the image is all white while the bottom right is all gold and they have all of their products. Here in this image, notice how they have a split where the left side of the image is all white and the right side is all gold. You'll notice that this image here, it's only the product itself. It doesn't have the product in the box. And so there's a reason why a business of this size is taking the time to strategically test out different product images when it comes to their Google shopping ads. And so so overall, I think that this is an e-commerce business that is clearly taking full advantage of optimizing their Google shopping feed to their full extent, right? I believe that this is why they're most likely getting like such good results on their Google shopping ads, because they're actually taking the time to do significant testing on one of the most important variables when it comes to Google shopping. The two most important variables when it comes to Google shopping ads are your actual like Google images that you're using for your shopping listings and then your titles, right? And obviously their titles are very well put together as well, but they're really leaning in on their images 
pages out of all of these listings here there's automatically stands out compared to all the other options on the market right this image stands out way more than this image from Gillette which is like a brand that's been around forever right even this one here this image automatically stands out more than the Gillette image and even more than this like generic brand from Amazon right and if you keep scrolling down and looking at other competitors it's the same their Google shopping listings automatically stand out way more one of the main takeaways that I got from their Google shopping listings is that it's definitely important to test out different variables when it comes to your Google shopping images because they can definitely contribute to helping you stand out way more when it comes to Google shopping compared to your competitors moving on to Google search ads one of the main things that stood out to me is their ad copy right so notice how in their ad copy they're using very similar messaging to what they use across their video ads right on paid social right they're very straightforward and they lean in very heavily on the overall brand that they have built this ad here it says your balls will thank you the best ball groomer take it to the shower your balls will thank you and so overall like they lean very heavily in on this like bold messaging that they have for their brand also their ad copy focuses in on a lot of their benefits things like precision trimming waterproof designs of course when it comes to trimming right we want to make sure that we have something that has precision but also is smooth right we don't want anything that causes any issues it would be good to have something that's waterproof so you can obviously trim in the shower and so overall like those are the main kind of uh, key takeaways from like the benefits that they highlight in their ad copy they do also focus on like highlighting the fact that they're the best in the market which is obviously super unique and then they also highlight limited time offers like free shipping bundles etc right those are some of the main key takeaways that I got from Google search. Again, if you're running an e-commerce business and you're not doing testing with your Google shopping images, you're missing out on so much opportunity. If you're not doing testing with your Google search ads, you're missing out on a lot of opportunity. And so this is a good example of like how to really take advantage and get the best possible results for your Google ads in general. Those are some of the main key takeaways that I had for paid search overall. Now let's continue with their offers. Looking at their offers, one of the main things that stands out is that if you go on their website and you just go to their homepage, you can obviously buy the individual products if you want. So you can just come inside of here and buy just the individual product. However, one of the things that they do is if you decide to bundle or if you decide to add in the peak hygiene plan, you can get a discount. So for example, if you add in this plan, your peak hygiene plan includes a fresh blade and refill an additional product of your choice. Build that $19.99 every three months. When you first land on the page, it automatically takes you to this option right so at first to me it didn't look like a big deal and I subscribed to this I also kind of went through and tried out their whole subscription but obviously this is super genius right because it's not your typical brand that you always see that for an electric shaver that they have a subscription plan right they usually just focus on the one-time purchases or the bundles of the kits they're focusing on both they have offers for anyone that's looking to purchase a one-time product where you can just upgrade and get fresh blades on subscription and then also if you go and you take advantage of their offers which is like their bundles right like this that's what I purchased I got the full kit. I got upsold on it. It looked like a pretty good deal, to be honest. You can save a pretty good discount. Again, here, I think that you automatically get subscribed. Yeah. So you automatically get subscribed here when you buy the bundle. That's why I didn't know the first time that I was subscribed to their subscriptions because they automatically added in to this performance package that they have. But it looks like overall, some of the main offers that they have is if you decide to add in the peak hygiene plan, which is their subscription. Notice how they even have a different name for it, right? The peak hygiene plan. And then they also give you a a special offer if you buy like the whole performance package bundle, right? Even the the bundles have their own names, which is super, super unique. For the offers, those are some of the main kind of key takeaways that I had from them. And then also one of the things that they do is that they do also include free gift with their bundles, which I mean, who's going to say no to a free gift? I mean, overall, those are some of the main kind of uh, key takeaways that I got from their offers. Moving on to their website. Obviously, there's so much that we can cover when it comes to their website. In my opinion, this is one of the best put together websites in the direct to consumer space. Everything from notice how their content is A1, really good quality. Notice how they have a really clean design overall across the board. They lean in on their product innovation, right? And also product education. If you go to their website, notice how they have very clean design. When you go on their product pages at the very bottom, they educate you on all their products, right? So this is obviously for the full package. But if you go to the individual unit, right, we go here and we go to the product. When you scroll down again, they have product demonstration videos, right? Then they have just overall education going over like the product specifics, right? And so they go deep on educating you on the products and how it works and 
really selling you on the product. Obviously they have a focus on subscription and bundling offers like I just kind of covered. They have interactive features where you can go to this help me choose section and a comparison page that compares the different products, right? Overall, the website is very, very, very interactive, right? Like they, they just make it like this incredible experience for you to go through and really learn about the products and the brand and really get sold on everything. Notice how they have also a very customer centric focus. You'll notice that a lot of their product pages, they have testimonials, product reviews, before and after images, and all these really build trust, really showcases the customer satisfaction. And then last but not least, they have a community and affiliate opportunities. So on their website, you can go and become an affiliate for their products, whether it's creating content on social media, or obviously in our day and age, TikTok shop, you can become an affiliate for them and actually earn commissions for referring people to Manscaped. The last part that really stands out to me about Manscaped's website is how they highlight this purpose that they really stand behind, right? So if you go here and you go to our cause, they have this um, overall initiative that they have where they call it we Save Balls, a partnership with Testicular Cancer Society. Here's a full breakdown on overall what they're going after, but just the main takeaway is that they're trying to bring more awareness around testicular cancer, right? Which obviously sucks, right? But it does happen in our day and age. And so together they go over how they are attempting to save balls. And so I thought overall it was super unique how they have like a huge cause that they also stand behind. In our day and age, consumers have options on where to buy from. Unless you give them an additional reasons, things like a community or an additional cause that you stand behind, it's not gonna be as easy to have somebody buy from you compared to buying from somebody else, right? Because now when somebody is trying to figure out who they should purchase from in the marketplace, they're gonna of course consider the products and the price, but they're gonna look at things like, okay, like am, who, who am I supporting, right? What are they doing? to actually make the world a better place. And so just a quick example of like how you can do that. I thought that this was obviously super unique for Manscaped and I obviously wanted to showcase this. And so all in all, these are some of the main kind of takeaways that I got from um, reviewing Manscaped and breaking down their, you know, their marketing, their website, their offers and more. And so in summary, Manscaped's success comes from more than just their innovative grooming products, right? Their ability to execute a very well put together organic marketing strategy, a well put together paid social strategy with innovative social content, also an innovative approach when it comes to paid search, as well as their unique offers, their well put together website and their purpose that they're standing behind. All of these different components are really what have contributed to help Manscaped grow to the brand that they are today, right? I wanted to take time to highlight each of these because I believe that if you're an e-commerce business that's really looking to um, disrupt your category and really grow, then you need to have a very well put together efforts across all of these different components. It's not just one or the other. They're doing everything really, really well. And so overall, those are the main takeaways that I had from Manscaped. If you're an e-commerce business and you're looking to get help with anything that I covered in the video, whether it's paid social or paid search, down below this video, there's gonna be a link in the description where you can book in a call with me and my team. On that call, we can get to know more about you and your business. And then from there, we can put together an action plan going over how we can help. That's it for this video. As always, if you guys enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate if you dropped a like. If you guys have any questions about anything that I covered in the video, drop it down in the comments below. And of course, if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel. With that said, I'll see you guys in the next one.